Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice, here today with another bit by bit on witchery. I know we haven't covered this in a bit, but I figured, you know, I need to get it back into the rotation. So what are we doing today? Well, besides feeding Peaky, here you go buddy, we are going to be covering the witch's broom. Now, it's going to be really short, sweet, and easy as far as showing you, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult for those that might actually have to make it. First and foremost, how do you make a broom? Well, a couple of sticks and some hawthorn saplings. Seems simple enough. Well, that's the easy part. The tough part is the uh, flying ointment, which in your uh, Brews and Infusions book says here that you need redstone soup, which we all know is a little bit difficult to make, potion of swiftness for eight minutes, a diamond, a feather, wool of bat, belladonna flower, and an altar power of 3,000, all just to make that. All right, and then what else do you need to do? Well, you put them down here in the circles, the ma magic circles, and you do a rite of infusion that needs to be performed at night. Once again, altar power 3000, a broom, flying ointment, two white circles here. And then let's get this going at nighttime. All right, and you click this, and voila, you have yourself an enchanted broom. Now, I already have an owl familiar, Peaky, over there. And if you remember from previous bit by bits, owl familiars give you bonuses on controlling a flying broom. So therefore, my uh, motions and controls on this are going to be really good. Plus, you can rename this thing just like any other weapon or uh, thing of that nature. So now I have a broom by the name of Swoosh. And I am not in creative right now, you'll notice. Though I do have the uh, owl affinity going on, so I can fly without um, without uh, any worries. So uh, you just right click, and then you can press left shift to get back off of it. And it kind of has a little bit of a ice skating motion on it, so I press forward a bit, and I will continue going forward. But essentially, it's not like a normal flight, where if I hold space, nothing happens. You basically aim in a direction and press forward. And you'll notice, here let me get into another view, that I move in that direction. You press down, you go down. Press up, you go up. Uh, it's pretty basic controls, and they are definitely much improved um, from uh, it, by having an owl familiar. Now, you'll notice I am actually slowly descending right now. And this is me not moving at all. So over time, your broom will descend. Now let's say... You're flying around, and you accidentally hit left shift. Uh-oh. Uh, well, the broom will go a little bit further, but then slowly come down to the ground for you. So therefore, you can still fly around and get your broom back. Hopefully it didn't like, land in lava or something crazy. You can see way up here, I've got this little platform way above the sky. Let's see if I can get up to that. Give you guys a good view. Pretty cool. Very easy transportation. Doesn't cost you anything after you've got it. Uh, and let's see if I can actually uh, get down a little faster. Now I'm pressing down, and you are going to descend much faster, but you'll also move forward. You can't help that because, well, I'm pressing forward right now, so you're kind of circling like a, a bird a bit. Whoa, whoa, get a little crazy. Whoa, okay, left shift. And just to show you, you can just punch it with your hand several times and you can pick it up. Or you can use a weapon and it will get picked up just like that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, not much to it. If you guys uh, like the video, please give me a like, comment, or subscribe. And until next time, see ya.